Hello, good morning everyone. Myself, Dr. Akshi Lakera from the BJ Medical College of Dhaka. Today my topic for the e-paper presentation is the result of fluid field level in the bone and soft tissue neoplasm and develops its colon differential diagnosis. For this study, I have taken the cases from the civil hospital and all from the duration of March 2020 to March 2021 using the MRI 1.5 patient machine. First of all, we discuss about the incidence of fluid field level in the bone tumor. It's 2.7% in case of bone tumor and 2.9% in case of soft tissue tumor, which are the histopathological uh, basis for the fluid field level. It is the blood within the cystic space. It is the hemorrhage in the tumor, or it could be the telangiectic component of the osteo sarcoma, or it could be the cavernous component of the major. Now, uh, we should learn about the various biology of the fluid field levels. Fluid field level, it could be the test as a result of primary ABC or aneurysmal bosses or secondary ABC and aneurysmal bosses. Secondary ABC will further <laughs> divide into three types, benign, malignant, and the tumor like lesion. The, under the category of benign lesion, we should study the uh, Janssen tumor, chondroblastoma, octoblastoma, chondromisfeld fibroma, fibrous dysplasia, fibrous and dementia. And under the category of malignant lesion, we should consider telangiectomy, osteosarcoma, plasmocytoma, malignant fibrous osteosarcoma, both metastasis. Under the category of tumor like lesion, we should take consideration into the <coughs> simple bones, brodis abscess, brown tumor, and hemophilic serotoma. Now, first of all, this is about the telangiectomy osteosarcoma. It is the variant of uh, osteosarcoma only. <laughs> to have a diagnostic criteria for the telangiectomy osteosarcoma are imaging features of the bone tumor. There should be the presence of osteoid matrix, cortex, and the medulla within the bone. Uh, growth pattern is the permeative and the destructive growth pattern. And uh, to have a fluid free level or blood free level, there should be the blood within the system, which are separated by the septa. MRI imaging characteristics are soft tissue component, which are the heterogeneous blood density, fluid free level, maybe due to the hemorrhage within the system, and enhancement of blood in the septa. Here is the case of telangiectomy osteosarcoma of the scapula. Here we find the fluid blood level or the fluid free level, which are of a high, high small density of the two weighted images. And we have characteristic linear level. Next is chondroblastoma. It is cartilage spectrum of uh, lesion located in the epiphysis of the skeletally immature patient. Uh, patient. Uh, signal density of the tumor weighted images is the intermediate. <coughs> it is the variable on the T2 and the hyperintense of the star. Here is the case of chondroblastoma of the humerus, which is a fluid component of your hyperintense T2 weighted images and the characteristic of fluid blood level. Here we can see. Next is the aneurysmal bone cyst. Most, <coughs> it is the uh, benign tumor located within the metaphysis of the long bone and placed eccentrically within the long bone. Uh, edge of this patient is a skeletal image before the exclusion of metaphysis. Here, the MRI imaging characteristics are the fluid filler, present solid component, variable intensity cyst, and the variable intensity of the T1 and T2. Here is the case of uh, aneurysmal bone within the sacrum. Here we can see the hyperintense component with the various uh, <coughs> loculated fluid or cystic lesion with the characteristic fluid uh, fluid level. Next is the osteoblastoma. It is characteristic benign neoplasm. Location is the metaphysis of the long bone or uh, posterior column of the spine, especially in the immature patient. Here is the case of osteoblastoma of the spine. Posterior element is classically we can see there. Uh, blood fluid level or cyst fluid level. In the giant cell of the tumor, it arises from the metaphysis of the long bone. It uh, can extend into the epiphysis. Here is the signal uh, characteristic is the logo intermediate of the T1, T2, heterogeneous hyper, and enhancement of the solid component. It is again in the skeletal mature patient. It is here we can see the case of the giant cell tumor within the humerus. Here we can see the mixed solid speculation. With a solid component as well as a cystic component. Now, uh, based on this, we can consider that fluid free level can, it is a known specific finding which can be present in the various etiology, uh, like the inflammatory etiology, traumatic etiology, neoplastic etiology. For the role of the uh, fluid free level in the differential diagnosis of the neoplastic etiology is limited, so we have to take consideration into another parameter like the edge. To for the differentiation or for the differential diagnosis of the bone tumor. Based on H, we, uh, we can divide it into two types. Uh, so, those uh, 
which occurred before the figure of fi those which occurred after the figure of fi here in this category of before the fissure of fi two division mainly neoplasm and neoplastic like lesion in the neoplasm category we have this much category uh, aneurysmal bones with simple bones chondroblastoma fibrous dysplasia chondromicrous fibrom osteoblastoma and telangiectasia osteoplastica these are the category which of tumor which occur before the fusion of fi in the tumor like lesion Open the tumor and absorb its access can occur before the fusion of fi after the fusion of fi we are again divided into parts 20 to 40 years and after the 40 years in the 20 to 40 years age most likely to the differential angle to child cell tumor after the 40 years in the neoplastic category plasmocyte tumor metastasis and the agophage when the fibrous situation of are the differential to be considered and in the tubal agglutination, brow tumor is the consideration. Further differential can be made on the basis of location of tissue. It could be the epiphysis, metaphysis, or the diaphysis. Tumor which have, <coughs> uh, which have affection towards the uh, epiphysis are the child cell tumor and the chondroblastoma. In the metaphysis, we can make the tumor, tumor location in the tumor category. And the bones is simple bones is osteoblastoma, chondromicrous fibroma, and the telangiectasia osteosarcoma are considered under the category of tumor like lesion. So, this access is considered the diaphysis, which we can consider a fibrous dysplasia, metastasis, plasma cytoma, brown tumor. Now, for the location, can be the centric and the eccentric. In the centric location, SBC, ABC, and fibrous dysplasia are the diagnostic consideration. In the eccentric location, child cell tumor. Jet tactic osteosarcoma, chondromicrous fibro, chondroblastoma, and osteoblastoma are the diagnostic consideration. Further differentiation could be based on the number of the tumor, could be the single, could be the multiple. In the case of multiple lesion, tumor has metastasis and the fibrous dysplasia, while the tumor like lesion could be the multiple are the brown tumor. Further differentiation we could made on the basis of presence of matrix, which is it could be the control, could be the osteo, could be the counter. Control, we have a Bring the arc like calcification. Examples are the chondromicrous fibro, chondroblastoma, osteoid matrix, cordex, and the medulla. Uh, Examples are the osteoblastoma and telangiectasia, osteosarcoma. Ground glass matrix specifically diagnosed the fibrous dysplasia. We have a certain specific appearance and the sign which could lead to our diagnosis towards the differential of the bone tumor. Mini brain appearance is classical for the plasma side of all of the segment side, we are trapped in our side. We could, could found the simple bones. So bubble appearance. You will find a child cell tumor and the real signs such as for the fibrous dysplasia. Based on this dictation, our conclusion is fifth level is a non specific imaging finding that could be observed in the variety of etiology like the neoplasm, like the experimental, like the traumatic. But for the different, uh, the differential role of the fifth level is the mini guide. So <clears throat> we have to take consideration in the further parameters like the edge, like the location, like the matrix of the tumor, and the specific appearances to link to further differential angles of the both. Here are the references which I used for this. Thank you. I am Dr. Hakshil again, signing off.